Mac. All right, let's check out our buddy Brian Calvert on a whitetail deer hunt. Uh, he's using our dominant buck here with tarsal after the hunt, and I'll come back and I'll explain and tell you about our dominant buck here with tarsal. All right, folks. I just reviewed the footage. Uh, the front half of the deer got out of the camera. I was in such a hurry to get it set up, so I apologize for that. But you could see the tail end of the deer, and when I shot, I mean, it, my gun's accurate. I mean, I'm. I seen hair. I seen fur fly on the camera when we when we watched the footage again. So uh, I'm gonna pack up my gear and uh, gonna get down and look for this deer here in about oh 30 minutes or so after I pack up and uh, go over there and look for a little bit of blood. But uh, it looked like a good solid hit. It looked like a nice deer. Uh, I'm not sure if it was the buck that I was looking for. It looked like an either an eight or a ten. But there's an eight pointer running around here with a drop tine on it that I haven't seen yet. So I'm not sure, but that could have been him. But either way, it's a nice deer. So uh, let's give this deer a few minutes. And once again, I apologize about the footage. Uh, a little shaky. It just happened so quick. And I had to grunt to turn the deer around to get him to come back this way. So uh, let's, uh, let's cross our fingers and hope, hope it works out. Stay tuned. <laughs> There he is, folks. Nice looking deer. Oh yeah, beautiful buck. Just a beautiful deer. Look at that. Well, folks, here he is. Nice Indiana 10, well, maybe, I guess 12. He's got split brow tines. Uh, on the way in this morning, we laid out some dominant buck and some scrapes and uh, I hadn't seen this buck this year, but I heard there was a nice eight pointer with a drop time running around. And I wasn't sure if this was him or not, but I knew this was a shooter. So I, I wasn't gonna, hes I didn't hesitate. It just took me a while to get the camera on as you've seen. A little shaky footage, that's what happens filming by yourself. And it paid off. A lot of guys didn't want to hunt today because they were expecting 50 mile an hour winds. Uh, you're not gonna kill a deer sitting at home. You know, you, you've only got two weeks of gun season and then muzzleloader starts again, but I wasn't gonna sit at home and say what if, so I, I made it a point to come out. My partner stayed home today, of course, and now I've got this big buck in the bottom of this gully. Luckily, I've got an ATV to help me get it out, but uh, persistence pays off. And another thing, here's your trapper supply, dominant buck. This is the first year I've used it. I've always used the gland lure and the white tail doe and heat. The dominant buck is what got this deer for me this year. I would, he would make a scrape, I'd make a scrape next to it, or I, I would put dominant buck in a scrape, and it kept him in the air and it kept him active, so. The buck that I just shot had been using, there's been two primary scrapes he's had in this area. I'm sitting in between them. Uh, I've been hitting both of them with dominant buck, and I even made a mock scrape right in front of my tree stand. He's been hitting all three of them, so. And uh, I went by this scrape this morning, and it was untouched. And that buck came from back in this area, so let me show you why. This is why you use dominant buck. He just hit this scrape after I drug some, uh, I drug some Hoosier Trapper Supply Dome Heat right by this spot this morning after I doctored the scrape up, so. That buck was coming our way for a reason, and it's it's thanks to Huger Trapper Supply. So here, look at this scrape. So 
See those fresh claw marks? He just did that this morning, and that wasn't there when I went by this morning because I checked it. All right, Brian, uh, on the deer hunt that you just saw, he was using our dominant buck urine with tarsal. And typically, um, you want to use this in your area about the time that you start seeing scrapes. Um, that's kind of the indication and you can actually if you're familiar with your area you can you know you can start putting the scrapes out with the dominant buck urine in it three or four or five days prior to the time that you normally would see them and that'll just kind of get things spurred along you can put them out ahead of that too but um, they're most effective uh, about the time the deer are starting to use scrapes so um, you know we've been doing this a long time uh, we're, since 1976 our deer scent is a little bit under the radar in terms of you're not going to walk into a box store and you're not going to see it you know in one of the marts and you go to those stores all the big stores they all basically carry the same product there is no variation from store to store from company to company on what what product they carry so you know we're off of that we're out of that uh, uh, mainstream deer scent in that respect another thing that sets us apart is the quantities that we sell it in the minimum, the smallest size that you'll be able to buy it from us is a four ounce bottle. Typically the commercial scents are available in a one or two ounce bottle. So that's our minimum is four. But you can get four, eight, 16, 32 ounce. You can get half gallons. You can even get a gallon if you want. And some guys buy that and share it with their buddy or their hunting camp or whatever. So um, that's clearly uh, what sets us apart. Another scent that we have is the Lip Liquor Deer Lure. And that works all the time. In the rut, out of the rut, prior to the rut, year round all the time. It also works on does. A lot of guys will use this in front of their trail cameras in the heat of the summer so they can see what else is out there, uh, see what deer are there, and the deer will respond to it even in the heat of July or August. So it's tough to find a scent that deer will be attracted to when they're not in the rut or when they're not thinking about being in the rut. So um, this uh, is a great uh, scent for those times. You can also use this in combination with our dominant buck uh, you and are doing heat or whatever where you put the lip liquor here maybe put a uh, scrape with the dominant buck over here your tree stand of course is here where you got clear shooting lanes and you know give the deer a choice give the deer an option um, and uh, clearly uh, if a doe comes through you know she very well may check out the lip liquor and if she's hanging around then you know a buck may very well likely come in just off the attraction of the doe so uh, using those in combination giving the deer a choice it's always a good idea so uh, if you haven't tried a deer scent I think you'll uh, I think you'll like it if you do give it a try uh, we've been around a long time we ship it all over the country and um, we're here to we're here to uh, help you with your deer hunting uh, scent if you um, would like to order from us you can go to our website who's your trapper supply.com you can give us a call uh, here at the shop, 317-881-3075. We'll send you a, a catalog that we have available, uh, and, or we'll take your order over the phone. So you can certainly you can order by mail the old way. Uh, you can give us a call on the phone and talk to us here personally, or you can order through our website.